Hey guys, Matt Wilson with Ray Allen Manufacturing. This is... Abigail with Trails and Tails Canine. Uh, she's a local trainer here in Colorado Springs and I brought her in because we have brought on the e collar Technologies line and Abby here with her clients is very well versed in the mini educator. So I brought her on to kind of give you some points on why this is such a good collar. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna start off with why do your clients like it? Um, I think it's very user friendly and easy to use. The build of it is so that it fits naturally in your hand and that the buttons and controls have easy access. With other companies, like they, they, you can do a pairing system or some of them you have to start the collar up and start the remote up. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you like start the whole system before you would train or put it on your dog? There are two little red buttons on both the collar and the remote that have a magnetic pairing. So you just touch that to turn on the collar and then to turn on the remote, you hold down the on button. Oh, and that's on the back? On the back, yep. Okay. I actually kind of like that because then you're not going to accidentally turn it off if you're mm -hmm. holding it in your hand because I've done that with other remotes where I've held down the wrong button right. and I ended up turning off the collar and my dog was like, oh, people get to die today. <laughs> um, so how many levels does this thing have? Um, it goes from zero to 100. Now, on like the collar that I use, you know, like it's got a lot of levels and I typically stay in like the 20 range. Mm -hmm. um, you have three working dogs. Uh, what, typically, where do you put them on? Um, my dog's working levels are fairly low and they range around like 10 or lower, um, same as my clients as well. Do you think that under 10 is like pretty effective? Yes, okay. definitely. Um, and so like, what's the highest you've ever jumped on it? Um, somewhere in like the 20s. And I'm pretty sure if I held it on 20, I'd be fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. So how do you like set it up for like use? Like what's your optimal way? The way that it comes set up already is that there is a momentary button should put it on a level first but once you press it it automatically stops which makes it momentary and so then just go once this red button would be your continuous um, i like to set it up to where it is constantly set to continuous so that if i need the momentary button i would just click it but if i need a continuous then i can hold it down and it'll be continuous as well and then it also gives you access to the boost button which just adds five Okay, so the boost button is then below that instead of it being a continuous or mm -hmm. um, momentary. Right. So you just do the momentary just by clicking, even though it's on continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is also a vibration button, which would be this one on its own. The same button as the on and off. If you just press it once, there is a flashing light as well as a steady. And I like to use this feature if I'm walking one of my dogs or client dog at nighttime, just so that other people can see us. Uh, lock and set safety feature, what does that mean? Um, if you turn the stimulus level to a certain level, so we're at 13 right now, if you hold this button down, it locks it at that level. Okay. So that you don't have to worry about accidentally turning the stimulus level. That's actually okay. awesome, because I've done that. And I've like rocked my dog. I did too. And he was like, you know. And I'm like, oh my God. I looked down and I thought he was on 20 and he's at 80. He's like, ha, ha. Just, and now he's mad. Um, came back though. Um, the cool thing about it, there's a half mile range on these collars, which is pretty much anything you got to, you know, use for any kind of dog training. You know, if you're going to a park, if you're doing some off leash work, hiking also, um, that's kind of like a perfect range for it. Um, you know, some of the other collars that go miles, stuff like that. If you're doing other, you know, kind of, um, tracking ability, this might not be for you. Um, but when it comes to like everyday dog training, this kind of seems like, the real the one that almost everybody uses um that's why we really wanted to bring it on here at ray allen um, like i said i'm kind of a dummy when it comes to these collars i've never really had access to them or used them but i knew people love them and so bringing them on was important to me um and then also bringing on people like abby here that uses these on a daily basis um with her clients with her dogs to really show that like they work really well so I'm Matt Wilson with Ray Allen Manufacturing. This is Abigail with Trails and Tails K9 at Trails and Tails K9 on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. TikTok, all the things. Oh, she's TikTok fans. <laughs> no. Delete the whole video, guys. Delete the whole video. I'm out. I can't do TikTok people. <laughs> Thanks, Abby.